This is a story of a girl named Snow White. Hi, I'm Snow White. Snow White lived in a cottage in the woods with seven dwarves. Actually, one dwarf with seven personalities. But our story doesn't begin here. Our story begins with an evil queen. I'm the evil queen. The evil queen was very vain, and she spent much of her time looking into her magic mirror. Almost every day she would ask the mirror, Mirror, mirror in my hand, who's the fairest in the land? And the mirror would always answer, Mighty queen, it is true, the fairest in the land is you. This would please the evil queen who is very vain, but little did she know that in her kingdom was born a child. Her parents named her Snow White, for her skin was as white as snow. And it wasn't long before the baby Snow White grew up to be a beautiful young maiden. That's me. So one day the evil queen asked the mirror her usual question. Mirror, mirror, in my hand, who's the fairest in the land? But then the mirror said, Thou is fair in all, tis true, but Snow White tis fairer than you. This enraged the queen, who declared that Snow White must die. Ah, Snow White must die! And so the wicked queen called upon her most fierce and cruel hunting dog. Hello! Oh, fierce and cruel hunting dog, thou art the fiercest and cruelest of all my hunting dogs. Yeah, I know. Find this Snow White, take her out alone into the forest, and you know what to do next. Um, should I lick her face? No! I have declared that Snow White must die! Oh, okay, right! Be gone, fierce and cruel hunting dog! And so the hunting dog went off to find Snow White. Snow White happened to be wandering nearby, and she stopped when she saw the fierce and cruel hunting dog. Grrr. Fierce and cruel hunting dog, dost thou mean me harm? Well, I'm not here to lick your face! But why dost thou mean me harm? I have done no wrong. The evil queen doesn't like you being the fairest of them all. It's not my fault I'm the fairest. I didn't ask for it. Eh, sorry. Orders are orders. Come on! What dost thou mean to do to me, hunting dog? Oh, I was probably just going to eat you up. Couldst thou not simply tell the queen that you have eaten me up? Eh, that would be lying. But your lie would spare my life, and I would be grateful forever. I don't want to get in trouble over this. There will be no trouble. I promise to hide in the woods for the rest of my days. No, all right. But you better hide good. Thank you, cruel and vicious hunting dog. And so Snow White ran off into the forest. And the hunting dog returned to the queen. So, cruel and vicious hunting dog, thou hast returned so soon. I trust thou hast followed my orders. Oh yeah, uh, definitely, definitely follow those orders. Thou does not seem so sure. Where is this Snow White? Oh, she's right here, in my tummy, yum yum. We shall see. And so the evil queen raised her mirror and said, Mirror, mirror in my hand, who's the fairest in the land? Thou is fair, this much is true, but Snow White is still fairer than you. Uh-oh, I'm out of here. And so the evil queen knew that she had been tricked, so she began to hatch an evil plan. I shall hatch an evil plan. Snow White fled through the forest until she came across a little cottage. A little cottage. I shall hide here. 
Snow White began cleaning up the cottage so she could stay in it, but then she heard a sound at the door. Snow White did not know that the cottage belonged to seven dwarves. Actually, one dwarf with seven personalities. What is thou doing in our cottage? Sorry, sir. My name is Snow White. I did not know that this home is occupied. Didn't know it was occupied. Likely story, then. Sir, what has happened to thine voice? Oh, oh, sorry, sister. Uh, that was just one of my other personalities. That's a little distracting. Oh, well, for someone who just came into my house, you're acting awfully rude. Couldst thou please let me stay? As you can see, I can clean. Uh, say you come to clean? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess this place could use some cleaning right here. Mm -hmm. I reckon you can stay. Does thou have different names for different personalities, such as Happy, Sleepy, or Doc? No one ever named my personalities, cause no one ever talked to me anyway. Okay then, I'll just get back to cleaning up around here. And so Snow White stayed with the dwarf with seven personalities and lived in secrecy for some time. Meanwhile, the evil queen had come up with a plan. I have disguised myself as an old peddler. Hark, someone is at the door. Hello, dearie. I am an old peddler with a beautiful flower crown for you. Old peddler, I have no money. Then this one shall be a gift. But Snow White did not know that the crown was an enchanted one that would harm her if she put it on. Thank you, old peddler. Remember, keep it snug on your head. What a strange old woman. Wait, I don't feel so good. But when Snow White fell to the ground, the crown was knocked off and she was saved. I must have fainted. And so that night, the queen asked the mirror, 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 in my hand, who's the fairest in the land? It ain't you, sister. My plan must have failed, but I have another. Enchanted pearls that will cut through her neck. And so the evil queen set off to Snow White's. But when she opened the door to the cottage, she was met with a surprise. Hey, how you doing? Strange little man, I am looking for Snow White. Uh, she went out uh, shopping or something. Ooh, can I see those? But these are for Snow White. Oh, I'll make sure she gets them. <laughs> okay, well then, she better. But one of the dwarf's personalities was a hoarder. These will go nicely in my hoard. And so that night, the evil queen asked the mirror, 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 in my hand, who's the fairest in the land? Yeah, it's still Snow White. You didn't get her. Dang it! But then perhaps some poison fruit shall do the trick. And so the evil queen set off to the cottage again. This time Snow White answered the door. Old peddler woman, thou hast returned. Yes, dearie, how did the flower crown suit ya? Actually, it made me faint, so I'm not trying that one on again. Guess you get what you paid for. Well, to make it up to you, I have brought you some enchanted, I mean perfectly ordinary fruit. Aw, oh, yeah, fruit! Eat the fruit. Eat it while I'm right here so I can be sure it work. I mean, taste good. Good idea. Mmm, it does taste good. And so at last, the evil queen had succeeded. <laughs> and so Snow White fell into a deep, deep sleep that appeared to be death. Soon the dwarf came home. Crikey! Snow White, what happened? And the dwarf found the poisoned fruit. Methinks this has been poisoned. Oh, Snow White! But try as he might, the dwarf could not revive Snow White. 
<laughs> Snow White! At that moment, a nearby prince heard the dwarf's cries. Oh, what is that? Sounds like a dwarf in distress. When the prince arrived, he found that Snow White had been moved to her room. Oh, Snow White! Snow White, what has happened to you? Oh, Snow White! The dwarf did not notice that the prince had arrived. Yeah, maybe I can help out here. But Snow White lay there perfectly still. And so this prince placed a single kiss upon her fingertips. Hmm, hope she doesn't mind. And the kiss of the royal prince brought Snow White back to the land of the living. Mm, Snow White, Snow White, thou hast awakened. The prince's kiss has awoken you. Yeah, I have that effect on people. Well, I'm just going to leave you two little lovebirds alone. Oh, prince, thou hast saved me. Yeah, it's kind of what I do around here. You know, save princesses. But I am not a princess. I am just Snow White. Not a princess, eh? Hmm. I think we're going to have to change that. And so, after many well-chaperoned and supervised dates, the prince and Snow White began to fall in love and got married. The evil queen, who had no idea that Snow White was still alive, was even invited to the wedding. Hmm, I wonder who the prince is marrying. Probably not someone as fair as me. Snow White recognized the evil queen right away. Hello, evil queen. Or should I say, peddler that tried to kill me three times? Four times counting the dog. How is thou still alive? Never mind that. Stay and ye shall receive your punishment. Yeah, put on yonder enchanted shoes. And so the evil queen did as she was told and put on the enchanted shoes. Please show mercy, Snow White. What do these enchanted shoes do? We thought, since this is a wedding, a little dancing wouldn't hurt. And so the queen's shoes began dancing with her in them. They danced and danced. Make it stop, Snow White! I am not Snow White. I am your queen, and you are being punished for trying to kill me. And so the evil queen danced and danced, long past the point of exhaustion. She danced so much, a hole opened up beneath her and swallowed her into the earth. Ah! Well, I guess that's the end of the evil queen. Yeah, tis a pity. She was dancing so well. Hmm. And so Snow White and the prince lived happily ever after. Did you like this video? Make sure to click that thumbs up button. And make sure to subscribe for a new video every Sunday on Baby Teeth 4. Make sure to follow us on Instagram for new pictures, stories, and videos every day. Make sure to check out our other two channels, Baby Teeth More and the Jillian and Addie channel. We have a lot of fun. Yeah, and check out our live show on Baby Teeth More every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 4 p.m. Pacific Time. Yes. All right, guys, thanks, thanks for joining us, and have a great week. Bye-bye.